Hello there, Rowan Cox here, and welcome to the Travel Southeast Asia VIP membership. Now, as you'll see on this page, in this video and below, many benefits, many reasons why I believe you will join this VIP membership. Now, you've made it to this page, right? You didn't come here by accident. Already, I know that you really are interested in traveling Southeast Asia, and this membership will help make your travels a lot safer, a lot more memorable, a lot easier, more convenient, because I'm a seasoned traveler too. I love Southeast Asia. I've been there, I think, 10 times already. And I give all my insider tips, uh, my contacts, all sorts of things to help you get more out of your travels. On top of that, obviously, the big benefit is the savings, right? Now, whether you book your accommodations through any uh, hotel or online booking site, even through the Travel Southeast Asia Facebook page or website, basically you're paying a commission. You know, of course these hotel sites don't send thousands of bookings to hotels around the world for free, right? So it's no secret. They're getting commissions. Now you don't see that, it's not in the price, but there are commissions being paid. The same with me. If I send a customer or a booking to a hotel through the Travel Southeast Asia page, I get a commission. Now typically this is 15%. So in this example, uh, we'll use 15% as the example. So uh, recently on the Facebook page, as you can see here, I did a post and I asked two questions on March 22. And the two questions are, one, how often do you travel to Southeast Asia? And two, how long do you stay for when you, uh, when you go there? And the answers absolutely surprised me, shocked me. I couldn't believe how long and how often people go there. So I added them all up. So on average, some people, most people stay, go once a year, some two, some three, some four. But on average, the average time uh, people go to Southeast Asia is 1.5 per year. So obviously let's use one as the average here, which I think is fair to say. Now the average stay blew me away. Some people stay for three months, six months, two months, one month. So I've taken off the really heavy ones, the really big ones, the six months and the three months. I'm not even counting them. But adding up all the others, some people stay for one week, most stay for two or three, sometimes four or five. Adding all those up, the average stay was 21 days. So let's assume the average person goes to Southeast Asia once a year and stays for, on average, 21 days, three weeks. Now, if you're going there for that period of time, Let's also assume for this example that you're paying on average $100 per night. So 21 nights at $100 is $2,100 uh, on accommodation. Now, as I said before, um, booking sites and so on take a commission. And in this case, we're using 15%. So 15% of $2,100 is $315. Now, what this means is if this membership is $315 per year, basically you're breaking even, there's no point. So obviously it has to be lower than that. But that, that's why we're weighing up the uh, commissions versus the membership fee, right? So let's say you want to go a little bit more budget, right? Which I think most people would. I think $100 per night is a bit high for most people. Uh, some certainly would go higher than that. So let's say, again, you go once per year, 21 days or three weeks, but in this case, you're going for $50 per night for accommodation, not 100. So on average, $50 per night, 21 nights, so total spend for accommodation is $1,050. So again, 15% of that is $157.50. So again, even for the budget traveler, if this membership is $157.50 per year, you're breaking even, there's no point. So it's lower than that. So below this video, you'll see what the price is obviously, but you'll also see many other benefits. Okay, so that's just counting the commissions, right? I'm packing this membership with other benefits and features, such as uh, you get contacts with my friends, not directly, but through me. So if you have any uh, cultural or religious or personal or any specific question that you can't find online or you need to know a local answer to, 
I'll, I'll help you out there. Just contact me, I'll contact them, get the answer and uh, give it to you. As I travel more, I'll be traveling on a different way now. I'll be traveling more like a, uh, I don't know, an inspector or something like that on a research mission, uh, trying to get better deals, hidden gems, uh, contact with various travel companies and travel guides and so on, and you'll get connection with those. Now, I will not get any commission from them. I'm just hooking you up with companies or guides that I've used or that I've connected with that I trust so you don't get ripped off. Uh, and hopefully they will give you a direct discount by booking th to them through by saying, hey, I'm a VIP member and hopefully they can give you a special deal directly. Uh, obviously, as I travel and get all these hidden gems and amazing things going on, I'll write some uh, guidebooks, a little bit like a Lonely Planet, but specific for my personal experiences. Uh, they're also included. Outside the membership, uh, I'll, pay for, I'll charge for those. Um, other things, the other big one is that I will allow you or give you a feature, basically an affiliate program, where you can get your membership for free. Okay, and that's explained down below. So read down below this video. There's a few more benefits, uh, the overview and the price, and of course the button to join. And I look forward to seeing you in the membership.